Yep. I own this movie on 4K. Why do I own 4K? It's because it was really cheap, actually. So I was like, why would I spend $3 less on Blu-ray when it's only $3 more on 4K? It was like a cheap deal, whatever. But yeah, I own um, Cars 2 on 4K. Yeah. Cars 2. In 2011, Pixar made a sequel to Cars. Why? This was like, I understand Cars 1 made money and it made a lot of merchandise and just everything Cars, whoopee. But like, you had Incredibles 1 just sitting there. Just sitting there waiting for the sequel. Yeah, we did eventually get the sequel, but at the time everyone was like, why the hell did you make Cars 2 when you have Incredibles there? You Hell, you could have made a Monsters, Inc. 2, which we did get a prequel. You could have made Finding Nemo 2, which we did get a sequel. But still, at the time, it's like you made Cars 2 first. That was your first option. We're saying we're making Cars 2 before we make any of these awesome sequels, prequels, or anything like that. Nope, we're doing Cars 2. Because reasons. The basic storyline is uh, Toe Mater, Larry the Cable Guy, is our main character. I would say Lightning McQueen, but he's barely in it. But Mater is stuck in this entourage of spies and shooting them up stuff and we have really cool spy cars while Let McQueen is racing and everything Toe Mater is with him and then he gets put into the situation they all think he's a really cool spy but really he's just Toe Mater and now that our spies are trying to stop these evil spy cars bad guy cars whatever and it's basically hey we're trying to stop this oil gasoline being used for cars and just whatever guys I can't tell you enough Cars 1 is such a just a low for car like Pixar cars 3 I rewatched it today actually after watching this one I was like you know what I'm not gonna review cars 3 haven't seen it since the theaters I'll watch it I watched it cars 3 is hands down the best one out of the trilogy but it's not the best Pixar movie but I will say cars 3 is nowhere near as bad as this movie I know no one I know no one that truly thinks cars 2 is a great movie not even a good movie I can see people saying it's enjoyable, it's watchable, and I will give it that. I'll start with the pauses. The animation on 4K, it looks really good. The colors look good. The sound design looks really cool. Hell, when we even meet uh, Michael Caine's car in the very beginning, it's a cool scene. Even though he is a car, it's a cool introduction. It's like the opening scene to our Michael Caine spy character. It was a cool scene. It was it was actiony, and again, the movie has excitement scenes and it's eye watching, whatever. But my God, why, 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 why did you put Toe Mater as the main character? He he's the headline, basically. I mean, Larry the Cable Guy is the main car in this movie, and I know people out there who do like Larry the Cable Guy, so they might like this movie more. For me, like I said, in my first review. I've never been a fan of Larry the Cable Guy. Even as a kid, I just never liked him. Like, in this movie, as a comedian, as a stand-up, whatever, in his other movies, he has his moments, whatever. He, he, he's Gator Dunn joke, like, yeah. But the, in the Car series, I just, I never, I just did not not like this character. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just design. He's annoying to me. I just don't like Mater. And he's the fucking main character at the, throughout this whole movie. And it's so cliche. Everyone's like, you're the cool spy character, right? He's like, yeah, but really he's not. And, and it, it's clever, but it, we've seen it before. And again, it's just, the movie just feels like it has no soul. Like, it just, it just has nothing. It has just, it's just cars doing action things and that's it like, there's, no, there's not even a heartwarming story to this movie in my opinion it feels so out of place too like cars one is about a um light mcqueen trying to get back together and win the race and yada yada, yada. cars three he's getting older he's trying to figure out the new environment of cars and light mcqueen light mcqueen then the middle we have a spy movie with action and toe mater and it's like where the fuck did this come from? And I just, I don't get it. Like, Pixar, what were you doing? It's not funny either. I don't laugh at this entire movie. I didn't laugh one time. Again, it's just one of those movies where the concept doesn't, like, cars, it's just blah. And then you put spy, useless characters, and it's, it doesn't work then either. The movie just had a bad mashup, and it's just not a very watchable good movie. Again, only positive. It looks good in 4K, the sound design, the colors, and Pixar animation. 
but that's it. I'm gonna give Cars 2 a D plus. You guys do not understand how happy I am to not be watching the Cars movies anymore. I just don't know why, but they, to me, they are just annoying. They're just like, Pixar, you're so much better than that. That's why I don't like those movies that much. But again, the third one is nowhere near as bad as I remember and people saying it was. Third one's a, it's, it's, a, it's a solid, okay Pixar movie. I'll say the third one's for that. But that is that. And my next review in the Pixar series will be the movie Brave. That will be coming to you guys very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, everyone.